Hello and welcome to Good Morning Thailand. Today we'll be talking about some of the news topics from across the country. Before we start the show, I'd like to give a big shout out to IFX Expo Asia 2024 that is happening just in a couple of days on the 16th to 18th September 2024 at the Centaura Grand and Bangkok Convention Center. IFX Expo is the online trading industry's biggest event series bridging the world's top fintech brands with the like-minded professionals. I'll be there along with the video team. We'll be covering the event. We're actually media sponsors as well. So uh, if you're in the house, if you are interested in Forex or um, trading, uh, come visit us. Come, come, come to the IFX Expo Asia 2024 at the Centaur Grand on the 16th to 18th September. Let's get started with some of the stories from across Thailand. We're going to start with, uh, unfortunately, a very sad story coming all the way from Pattaya as a family pleads for justice after a Pattaya hit and run tragedy. Now, a tragic hit and run incident in Pattaya left a family grieving and seeking justice after a 56 year old woman was fatally struck by a pickup truck. The driver fled the scene, leaving the victim in a critical condition leading to her eventual death. On the morning of September the 4th, 56 year old Sompat was severely injured after being struck by a pickup truck in Soi Bangkot 8 Pattaya and despite the severity of her injuries, the driver sped away, abandoning her at the scene. Bystanders found her in a pool of blood and immediately reported the incident to the City Police. Despite their efforts, Sompat succumbed to injuries in her early hours of September the 8th. Now, yesterday, uh, two days ago, September the 9th, Sompat's family received her body for religious rites at a temple in Ban Lamung Chonburi. The atmosphere was obviously somber as relatives and friends gathered, and um, the family of uh, Sirimat is anxious that the perpetrator might evade justice, prompting them to reach out to the media for assistance in tracking down the driver. Um, if the driver has any humanity left, please come forward to take responsibility. Uh, imagine if it were your mother or family member in this situation. That was a quote from one of the family members. So the police and the media is on the lookout for this uh, hit and run perpetrator in Padilla. Um, and a very sad story uh, coming out from Padilla. Um, today um now <clears throat> just uh, a fair warning uh a lot of the uh, following stories are more light-hearted and um a lot more foreigners involved so it just gets one after the other uh some of them are silly some of them are stupid some of them are uh, just only in thailand stories so get prepared Starting with, an American YouTuber crashes a tuk-tuk into a Thai temple wall. That's right. An American YouTuber, I Show Speed, known for his uh, in-real-life streaming content, was involved in a minor accident while filming in Thailand. The incident occurred when he attempted to drive a tuk-tuk and crashed into a temple wall, resulting in a minor head injury. I Show Speed, uh, with over 20 million followers worldwide, has been enjoying various activities in Thailand, including elephant rides and Muay Thai boxing. During his adventures, he encountered a tuk-tuk and expressed a desire to try driving it. The regular driver agreed and gave him instructions on how to operate the vehicle. However, shortly after taking the vehicle, I Show Speed began to accelerate, but due to his unfamiliar operation techniques of the tuk-tuk, he lost control and crashed into a wall of a local temple. The collision caused him to hit his head on the vehicle. Despite the driver's attempts to assist, the crash happened too quickly to prevent. And I Show Speed sustained a minor head injury, um... But he's okay. The American YouTuber visited the temple's abbot to apologize for the damaged cause. It is believed that he may also compensate for the damages incurred to both the temple and the tuk-tuk driver. Now, I Show Speed is a very uh, famous and popular um, YouTuber and streamer and uh, personality, I guess. Um, a famous, f most famous, I would say, for his obsession and love for uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. But... Uh, He's often known for whack, his wackiness, uh, extreme high energy, crazy athleticism, athleticism. And uh, yeah, he's an entertainer. Not for everyone. Uh, he, you know, I, I think he kind of um, attracts a certain uh, generation. Uh, but, um, but yeah, um, I, I watched the video. It was quite uh, scary and glad that he didn't get uh, too injured. He often does do crazy things. So it, it, it is, but I don't think he meant to obviously crash a tuk-tuk at a temple. Um, but yeah, glad, glad to see he's okay because there's a lot of attention and a lot of news media around him. Obviously he's a very popular influencer. Uh, and, um, it's strange that an influencer visiting a country would get so much attention, but, um, there he is for now. We're going to move on to our next story, which uh, takes us to Phuket where 
drunk foreign men have reportedly been fighting over Thai women. I mean, we all know Thai women are some of the most beautiful women around the world, but uh, two drunken uh, foreign men have become famous in Phuket for after videos went viral of their pair fighting over a Thai woman outside an entertainment venue in the Rawai neighborhood. Now, footage and images of the altercation on Saturday night between the two foreigners were shared by a news Facebook page, Phuket Times, and Far a Farang boxing show took place in Soi Sai Yuan in the Rawai sub-district that caused trouble while drunk. They were fighting each other over Thai women, and one of them even tried to run his car over the other. The foreign man in khaki green shorts was seen, was seen challenging another foreign man in salmon pink shorts to a fight. And the Thai man rec uh, recording the video said, He started the fight, the man in the salmon pink shorts, and I don't think the man with black hair is drunk. Love can always make you do crazy things. Would it make you come to blows with a man in front of an entertainment, uh, <laughs> entertainment bar over your favorite... Female friend. Let's just call it, let's just leave it at that. Our next story also takes us to another foreigner behaving uh, slightly inappropriately, or definitely inappropriately, in The Nude Awakening, as a foreigner has filmed naked on his Phuket balcony. Now, people are supposed to feel comfortable at home, you know, uh, and, and you do you. If you like to be naked around your house, that's okay. But uh, if you're going to go into the balcony, just do be a little bit careful because... A foreign man has caught the attention of locals in Phuket after he was seen talking on the phone uh, as naked as the day as he was born on a hotel balcony. He continued to stand naked even after realizing he was being filmed, putting on a show. Now, a Facebook uh, user, Bess Sajo, shared the video of the foreign man in his birthday suit. Uh, and uh, he says, uh, don't zoom in. Good vibes at Patong today. I'm sick of seeing this. Now, the video garnered many likes, shares, and comments. And in the video, the foreign man is seen standing and talking naked on the phone on the balcony. Instead of rushing inside, he was seen covering his genitals with his hand when he noticed that the Thai man was filming him. The hotel is located near the main road, and the video showed many vehicles passing by. Um, thus, the Facebook user may not have been the only one to notice the foreigner's explicit behavior. Now, once again, people going online and... Uh, being upset with this kind of display of uh, genitalia. Um, but yeah, in, in a similar incident last month, students and teachers at a school in Padia caught a foreign man masturbating in the balcony of his condominium. And the man had left his curtains wide open while watching porn and engaging in sexual activities. Ladies and gentlemen, if you, you know, sometimes you're living in a congested area, close your curtains or hi keep your nudity to yourself uh, is, is the lesson for today. Uh, on that note, I'm going to move on to the last two stories of today. Uh, the first one, a Phuket taxi driver condemned for intentionally hitting a foreigner. Now, we might have seen stories of foreigners behaving badly and attacking people. However, a Thai witness... Uh, is seeking justice for an old foreign man after a Thai airport taxi driver hit him in Phuket on September the 9th. This is just two days ago. Uh, the foreign victim was thankfully not injured. Now, a Thai woman who witnessed the incident uh, in Soi Yen Sabai in the Patong neighborhood of Phuket came forward to share CCTV footage with the Facebook page Phuket Times. She condemned the airport taxi driver for his actions and said, your actions are disgusting. I feel sorry for the old foreign man. You intentionally crashed into him. The road is narrow you should have honked the horn to alert him not hit him in the video the foreign man is seen walking in the middle of a narrow alley unaware that a blue taxi is behind him the taxi initially followed him slowly drawing closer in the hope that the man would realize and move out of the way unfortunately when the foreign man failed to notice the car the taxi driver hit him causing him to collapse onto the road fortunately the car did not move further otherwise it might have run over the foreign man's leg the foreigner carefully got up and a Thai woman who was walking nearby came to his aid and the foreign passengers of the taxi rushed out to check on the man while the taxi driver exited his vehicle later and did not appear remorseful at all for his actions. Shocking story out there. Uh, every now and then we do get people like this who hate their lives and hate their jobs and, um, you know, can... Could this have been avoidable? Absolutely. But uh, I hope that there's some justice and at least this man is investigated as to why this tuk-tuk driver was in a rush or so aggressive towards uh, someone just walking in a narrow alley. But uh, hopefully uh, incidents like this uh, don't happen uh, again. Now, uh, I'm going to move on to our last story for the day, uh, talking about the topic that everyone's really thinking about. Does size really matter? Uh, <laughs> 
because uh, a barber in the central province of Ayutthaya went viral on Thai social media for charging customers based on the size of their penis rather than the length of their hair. Now, a picture of the service price list at the barbershop in Ayutthaya was shared by numerous Thai news agencies, and the pricing list stated small penis 40 baht, medium penis 60 baht, large penis 80 baht, and mo modified penis 100 baht. Uh, the barber, 40-year-old uh, T. Klin Bupa, shared in an interview with Channel 3 that he opened the barbershop three months ago and received very positive feedback. He believed that the service fees, based on penis size, played an important role in attracting customers. Now, Apirak explained that he had been searching for his dream job for over eight years and had worked in various industries before finding happiness as a barber. His shop, located near one of the Ayutthaya's popular tourist attractions, uh, was decorated in a vintage style to match his historical attraction. Um, the barber mentioned that he had not yet named his barbershop and had not planned on any advertising for it. He did not expect the, hu the humorous service fee uh, to make his business go viral, explaining that it reflected his personality. Uh, he's just a little bit of a joker. And he described himself as a cheerful person who enjoys spreading good vibes. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what price would you pay if you went to this barber? I guess you're trying to... I guess you're kind of admitting something to yourself if you are... Uh, not paying a hundred baht, I guess. Modified. How do you modify your penis? Anyways, I gotta meet this guy. He's met people from all sorts of places. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Those were some of the stories from across Thailand today. Uh, we're gonna skip some of the stories from ASEAN now. However, um, yeah, it's been that kind of a day. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a lot of stories from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, it, it's quite difficult for me to condense all the stories, but I thought that, okay, since I'm going to be joining today, let me just go through some of the wackier stories that I found. 